Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joke50X and today we have pretty much um, some of my replays from the Fighter Z beta. Now, I was not the greatest fighter in this beta and um, I will openly admit to that. Um, my first few fights are pretty much me getting the fill of the game. It was very hard to find a match. As you can see, I only have five replays actually saved, which is kind of a bummer. I wanted a lot more content, but my team is going to be on the left hand side. No, right hand side. Right hand side. We'll see when the match starts. I'll remember who my characters were. I don't remember um, off the top of my head. <sighs> I know I did have a Frieza Gohan Cell team set up, but I don't think this is my team. I think I have the Majin team. If the Majin is brown, then it's my team. We'll just have to see here in a second. God, man, these graphics just look beautiful. This game is amazing. All right, so first off, we start things off. We got Frieza versus Gohan. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me and just love nostalgic battles, but Adult Gohan versus Frieza, Final Form, I don't know. This is beautiful to me. It feels like an anime fight that could have happened. Okay, I think I'm the Frieza because I do remember, like, this, like, not spamming, but, like, keeping this guy at a distance um, with my key attacks. And... Now, first things first, I am a very offensive rushdown type of fighter. So, um, yeah, this is this is definitely me. I remember this fight now. So, yeah. All right, I'm on the right-hand side with Frieza, Gohan, and uh, Sale. Now, me personally, like I was saying, I'm a very rushdown type of fighter. And with Frieza, you have to be kind of tactical in a sense because Frieza seems like a, a tricky type fighter. Now, with Sale, Sale is a very all-around type fighter, and I love that. I love that a lot. Cell has probably have Cell probably has to be my favorite fighter in this game so far. Um, granted, we I, I didn't get to play with a lot of characters. This was the main team I got to play with. My Frieza Cell Gohan setup. And out of all these characters, I, I think I like Free I mean not Frieza, but Cell the most. Look at that. Look at that. Finish the combo. Go into the energy um, barrier. Nice way to end a combo. Look at that. Boom. Perfect execution. Now I still have three people left. And this guy is down to his final person already. Now, I don't know if this guy was just bad or I'm that good. As you can see, I made a mistake right there, but he rushed in at me. And that is what I'm talking about, people. You got to be very careful with these rushing attacks because they are very easily punished. You, you're rushing at somebody that you're open for a, a open um, super. You're open for an ultimate. You, you, can't, you can't be rushing at people. That's a very bad idea. And as you see here, I use my spark and burst right there because I knew what this guy was going to try to go for. I saw his meter over there and I knew what he was going for. And by me using my spark and burst, I was able to recover literally all the damage that he just dealt to me. So ultimately, he just wasted his ultimate on me. And he was in the middle of attacking. I managed to back up, get that attack off. And as you can see, he tried for it again. He failed epically. I go ultimate Gohan, power up a little bit. He gets a few licks in on me, but it ultimately it was for not because the fight was over already. Like, look at that. Game over, baby. Oh, I missed that. Oh, I, I, I hyped myself up a little too bit. I mean, toot my own horn too much. But either way, this this guy, he lost the fight. He, he just, he was bad. I mean, he managed to take down Frieza. I, I'm, I'm not good with Frieza. I will say that. I will be the first person to admit I am trash with Frieza. I need to learn like his moveset a little bit better. But the worst thing about this beta was you could only practice with the um the the characters within the tutorial session, which is Goku, Gohan, and Pickle. I mean Gohan and Krillin. I have no problem with that, but I wanted to learn how to use other characters and I couldn't. So that was a huge bummer. Now we're gonna go on to my next fight. This is gonna be a, a 15 minute long video. If you guys wanna exit it now, I understand. That's perfectly fine. But I'm, I'm just gonna be commentating over my fights that I was actually able to record. And I think this is when I fought this guy again. I believe his gamer tag was Rebel Z or something like that. If I remember correctly. I think this is the guy. It's going to look damn near identical to the first fight, but I think this time I just demolish him even more, which is pretty bad. But like I was saying, I'm, I'm, I'm a very rush, rush down, like 
type of fighter in any fighting game, even in shooters. I, I'm the first motherfucker to rush in, get a few kills, and then die. Boom. That's just how I am. I'm a very aggressive player when it comes to any type of game. Oh, yeah, this is the um, the fight where I was keeping him at a distance because, as you can see, he clearly doesn't know how to block, and he was stupid enough to continue to rush me after I kept him at a distance. And look at that. Just straight disrespect. And there's, there's, I don't, I don't mean this in a, in an offensive way when I say this, but some players just, they don't grasp. I guess, how can I put it, without it sounding offensive? Now you see that he, he beat my freeze in a corner. I'm, I'm very terrible at get out of corners, but it's fine, because as you see, he still has a whole team of three. He thinks he's winning. He thinks he's going to win. He, he's big headed right now. He, he just killed one of my characters. And that's where he kind of, I guess you can say, punished himself because you fuck up one time, I'm not going to be as forgiven. I'm coming in for the kill. Like, that's just how it is. And as you can see, look at that. I have four bars ready. And what does he do? He was just about to rush me with his cell. He set himself up for that. Now look at this. See the difference between me and this guy? I actually block. I know when to block. This game gives you plenty of time to time your blocks because you can literally see each frame and each motion. So you have plenty of time to, to block an opponent when they're getting ready to charge up for anything literally in this game. Just like that. You can time those to the point where you clash with the other player and it's it, it pretty much ends in a draw. So there's no excuses for it honestly being bad at this game for anybody. When you when you like legit just have plenty of opportunities to get good. and. Again, as you just saw, I used another like family Kamehameha. This guy was about to rush me again. You saw he was jumping towards me, um, trying to, I guess, get in close or something. And it, it just didn't work. I knew what he was going for. He tries to, he plays the same every time. He he comes in slowly. He try to rush in with some attacks. That's not gonna work. And see, he just tried for another ultimate. Not gonna work. It is. It's just some people are easily like. It's easy to read certain type of players. I mean, again, I, I've exposed myself by saying I'm a rush down, aggressive type of fighter. But again, that's just who I am. That's just me. And again, there's there's no knock to anyone that's like that. There's no knock to anyone who plays that way. But it's not a smart way to play. But it, it, it can be pretty detrimental if you're in like a tournament scene, if you're just playing for fun, fuck it, whatever. You do you, you attack, you rush, you beat the fuck out of people. Have fun. But as you can see, I beat this guy two times in a row. And what can I say? The guy was pretty bad. No offense to him. I mean, I know I'm not the best fighter. Like, I'm, I, I know for a fact I'm not good at fighting games. And for you to lose to me, that says a lot right there. Now, this match is actually going to be my one and only ranked match that I did play. I lost, I believe, and I got um, a thousand BP from it, which I was fine with. This guy was clearly the better fighter, and I don't. When 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 I actually the thing I like about this game, excuse the stuttering. The thing I like about this game, it shows like the FPS, like how um pretty much it shows your lag rate in a sense. Like it shows how how much the, the frame lags are the the frame lag is or whatever. I don't know if it's gonna show since I'm watching it in a replay, but during the actual match, it displays it, which is really good in my opinion. I like that because you know how bad the lag is in the match. Now, off rip, as you see here, we both took a step back and I'm being the aggressor in this fight. But I'm also, I'm, I'm playing pretty tactical. I thought I was doing a good job, but um, this guy beats me in the end ultimately. And I started it off like fairly unaggressive. I, I took my step back to see what he was gonna do. And then I, I, I closed in with a rush in attack and then I kept him at a distance for a little bit with some blast. And I'm actually doing pretty good against his kid Boo, but I, I, I got too confident and I started messing up. And the crazy part about this fight is, wait until you guys see the ending. That's, that's the crazy part. Uh, that was the part that I shot myself with. Now I took his kid Boo down. So we're both pretty much about to be down a, a fighter already. Um, Frieza literally has no health, and I switch him out for Cell. Now, again, I love Cell's character. Cell is, like, probably the most all-around character I've played with in this beta so far. And, again, I mainly only got to play with six characters. But 
from what I've seen, Cell is probably the ultimate all-around fighter in this game. He has ranged attacks. He has close range attacks. It's 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 pretty crazy how versatile Cell really is. And there it goes. He knocks down one of my um my fighters. And so now we're going to the big boy, Ultimate Gohan. Everyone is loving Ultimate Gohan in this game for for I mean honest reasons. He's a beast. He's a monster. When you down and out, since the ultimate go on, you're guaranteed to make a comeback. If you don't make a comeback, then then I, I don't I don't know what to say to you on that. Eat this, motherfucker! I just love that animation. Like that little build up is just beautiful. And then you got Goten coming in and just finishing it. See, I had to switch Gohan out so he can recover his health back. I don't know if you guys can see the blue bar underneath where Gohan's health is. That's pretty much me recovering. But um, I had to be a lot smarter right here because both of my characters are down to a low amount of health. So I had to think about things more strategically and play a little bit smarter. And as you can see here, I'm down to my last guy. So it, it, it was a really tough fight for me because I was at a disadvantage after... Um, after I lost a uh, sale or whatever. And this guy clearly was the better fighter here. I was really advantageous about like just attacking point blank period. Oh, well, I, I, guess, I guess this isn't the fight that um, me and this guy was really close on. I guess that was another casual match. But as you can see, that guy clearly was the better fighter in this situation. I started off strong. I started off good. But ultimately, it wasn't enough because of my play style. It pretty much... I, um, how can I put it? I killed myself, in a sense, because of my rushdown playstyle. It ultimately caused me to dub, which I don't have a problem with, because, again, I'm, we're all new to this game. We're all learning, so it is what it is. I'm, I'm not too down about it. I think this is the fight that was super close, and if it's not, then I'm sorry. Again, I know I have that video recorded somewhere, so bear with me on that. I'm going to find it and commentate over it, too, because that was a great fight. It was a really great fight. So we got Frieza Cell and Piccolo. Uh, this is my Majin Buu team. I like the Doo Doo Brown Majin Buu. He just looks cool. So we got Doo Doo Brown Majin Buu. And I got, um, we pretty much got the same team, um, except for he has Cell instead of Majin Buu. And I, I don't know. I, I like Buu's character. He's, he's kind of this, he's another character that's kind of tricky because he has a wide range of attack styles. Um, and this guy was kind enough to let me power all the way up, which was really stupid in my opinion, but Hey, you do what you got to do, bro. I'm I'm gonna still whoop your ass. That's just how I see it, but um Off rip again. I this this was the fight I didn't remember like this was my first fight This was my first official fight because I didn't know how to switch my characters out and I, I just tried to like murder him with boo and he wasn't having that he clearly knew how to time all his techniques, and you see me calling out my support and just getting them wrecked real quick because, again, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know how to switch characters. I, I, I just didn't know what I was doing. This was a bad fight. This was my first fight. And yeah, I, I remember this one vividly. I don't think this is going to be the one where it was close to the tie because, yeah, this, this, again, this was my first fight. So, you saved the worst for last because I did a terrible job, and I completely got whooped. And as you can see, I clearly don't know how to use Piccolo's moveset. I'm over here shooting slow key blasts at people, trying to power up in the middle of fighting. It just, I wasn't, it, it wouldn't work. I wasn't doing shit. As you can see right there, this guy still has three characters filled with health. There was nothing I could do here. He had already used his sparking burst or whatever. And I don't know why he used it, considering he wasn't losing. I wasted my well I didn't waste mine I used it at the right time because I'm down to my last character and this is gonna be the perfect time because when you're down to your final character you actually get a bigger boost than you would if you have a full team as you can see the damage output that I'm doing on him is freaking ridiculous and I rushed in at that like an idiot but guess what we will heal and I took a step back from that because I mean clearly I can't afford to be just taking L's right here I gotta this is my make or break moment my sparking burst is still on it just went out so I, I literally has to I have to do something within these next few moments to try to capitalize off the health that I gained and um, the key that I have built up. But overall, man, I was OK with the beta um, minus the fact that 
I couldn't find too many matches, which was upsetting. But overall, I was happy with it. I mean, I liked it. I loved the gameplay that I got. I love the feel of the game. And if you guys enjoy this content, be sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and leave a like. Hey, I would greatly appreciate it. And whatever you guys would like to see, just comment it down below. And as always, it was your boy Joe Great 50 x and we are out to the next one. Peace!